Hey guys, welcome back to the Tech Review. I'm sorry it's been a long time since I've made a video and I promised I'd be putting more more out. But honestly, I just haven't had anything to review. But um, luckily today I have some new stuff for you and I'll be having some new stuff coming in in the next few months. So let's get into it. Um, I just checked my mail and today I have gotten the new 2012 model of Apple's Airport Express. This is uh, Apple's redesign of their old Airport Express that looked a lot um, like a power brick that you just plug straight to the wall. Um, a couple differences that are between the two is this one now has more of a design that they've copied from the Apple TV that we've seen in the second generation. As you see here, boxes are really the same, and I'll show you in a little bit the um, physical devices are um, the same sizes. Another difference is with the original Airport Express, you had the option between a 2.4 gigahertz wireless band or the 5 gigahertz, but you had to pick one or the other. It was not dual band. This one is now dual band and can handle both signals at the same time. Now, looking at the back of the box, a few other features. We have the same, we have the same headphone jack for your AirPlay a USB port for printers. It will not support hard drives. Um, we a new feature to the, the remodel is we actually have another Ethernet port. Now it's only 10 by 100, 10 over 100 um, speed. It's not a gigabit, but in all honesty, most devices out there on the market only need speed can only handle speeds of 10 over 100. Your internet providers are going to be putting a limit on your bandwidth and so it's not you're not always going to be able to um, get the gigabit speed. We also have our ethernet port for your internet in and instead of um, the actual device plugging directly into the wall we actually have a standalone power cable. I actually bought this used for less than I would brand new and I've actually already looked at it and it's actually in really good condition. So opening it up it just slides right off And we have our device right here. It's nice, white, really, really cool design. So, like I said, it's roughly the same size. This is a second generation Apple TV right here. And they're, they're, they are the exact same size. So, if you're going to be putting this in your home entertainment system or same place wherever your Apple TV is, you can just set them on top of each other and they um, will work flush together. So... Now, looking at the bottom, we do have a circular raised bit, so it's going to be raised up a little bit. I don't know if these things generate a lot of heat or not, but that um, should help with some heat dissipation. Um, here are all our ports that we've already seen from the back of the box. You have your reset button right there, so if you need to reset the whole device manually, just put a little paper clip in there and it'll reset it. So, nice Apple logo on the front. Now looking at what else is in the box, you have all your instruction manuals and just all your warranties. Warranty is probably out on this thing since I bought it used. And just pulling the little bottom tab, you have your nice, looks like a flat power cable. Designed like all the other Apple power cables. Another cool feature that the Airport Express has is if you have Apple's Airport Extreme, you can do what's called network extension. And what it'll do is the Airport Express will just extend your network. So say you live in a big house and you have your Airport Extreme downstairs. You can put this, the Airport Express, in your upstairs and connect it either from the Extreme with an Ethernet cable or just wirelessly um, wirelessly extend the network and when you go from your downstairs to your upstairs it'll extend the network and you have the same strength signal and you won't lose any of your uh, Wi-Fi going throughout your house so that's a cool feature if you have a third-party wireless router like I do you can connect it to your to your existing network but it's not really going to extend it all it's going to do is just set it up for your AirPlay features. So say I have a Netgear router. If I would connect it with my Netgear router, all it's not going to extend to my Wi-Fi network. All it's going to be able to do is I'm going to, it's going to recognize that there's an AirPlay on my network. So that's how that works. Now I'll be back in a second and I'll show you a quick setup on how to set up your Airport Express for use. 
So when you first plug the power into your Airboard Express, an amber light will start blinking as you see here. Now to set up the software for the Airport Express or Airport Extreme, any kind of airport base station, you're going to use Apple's free airport utility software as you see here. Now this works on both PC and Mac so it doesn't matter what type of computer you use. When you first start the software, it will detect that you have no base stations connected to it yet or else they would show up in this blank area right here. But you see there is a other base station that is, we have one base station right there and that is our Airport Express. So we're going to select that right now and what's going to do is it's going to gather the information that it, about your particular device. So now when this window pops up, it's going to give you some basic settings to already set up your Wi-Fi network with a network name and a base station name and all you have to do is set up your password and verify the password and go on to the next step to finish the process but if you look before you do that if you look in the lower left hand corner you have something that's called other options when you select that this is where you're able to this is where you're able to set up the airport express to either extend a network from either a third party router or even more compatible other airport state station um, and you can also replace an existing device. So say you had the original Airport Express, if you want to, you can select that option and just it'll copy all of the settings from that Airport Express onto your new one and that way it's just a direct replacement and you don't have to go through all your different devices and connect it to a new network. So, but what we're going what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new network because I'm going to use this as my main router and Here's the same window that we see before, so I'm just going to put in a simple password. And on the next window, this is where you're able to set up a guest network if you want to. I don't want to, but if you do, you just select this checkbox. And if you want to add a password to it, you can. And going on to the next, now what it's going to do is it's going to send all these settings to your Airport Express. Now, since I do not have it hooked to the internet, as you see right here, it's prompting me to connect an Ethernet cord, but I'm actually nowhere near my modem, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to ignore this step right here and click Next. So now what's going to do is it's going to send your network name and your password to your Airport Express. As you see now, our flashing amber light has now turned solid, and that's because it's receiving everything from the Airport Utility software. Once your setup is complete, you can just click Done, and your Airport Express should now show up in your window. Cool feature about this is now that it has the information, it will show your indicator light in the software as what's happening with the Airport Express, so our amber light's blinking. Now, if I had the internet connected to it, then what would happen is this amber light would just turn into a solid green light, meaning that your internet's set up and you're ready to go. I'm sorry I can't show you all that, I'm just nowhere near my modem to, um, to hook it up. So what you can do in the airport settings right now is you can actually click on whatever airport base station you have and it'll bring up all the information about your base station with the network name, your IP, and all the information. If you want to update your airport, then you would click the update button, but I can't do that because the airport's not hooked into the internet. If you want to edit any settings for your airport express, you just click the edit button and this will give you a full layout of the features for your router. You have your airplay settings so you can set that up or any of these other features that you have. Uh, when you're done, you just click update and it'll send all your new settings to the base station. Thank you all for tuning into this video. Again, I'm sorry I haven't been putting out as many videos as I promised, so I'm going to try and get some more out in the next few months. I should have my desk set up finished in August so I can have a room tour video for you all. And I've been working with some friends recently on a few Minecraft series, and I've been working on some other gameplay videos for y'all that I will link to my second gaming channel that is not published yet. So just stay tuned for that. Again, thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all again soon.